morning. Ah, another beautiful day here on Mars. Good morning. I had a nice How sleep. How are you this morning, Andrew Man? Very nice, and maybe scared for what's to come. <laughs> Today's scared the day. What's to come? Today's the day we're gonna beat the shit out of G Corp, right? Yes. If oh. All goes well. Hopefully, um, all goes well. I think it will, uh, because we have this beast right here to help mm -hmm. us on our uh, on our mission, the Phoenix. But with our our field testing of the Phoenix in the last uh, episode, uh, we have gone and done uh, a little bit of armor repairs just to uh, clean up the damage from last time. But we have also gotten some plans how we're going to make the Phoenix oh so more powerful. Yeah, a little bit of an upgrade, I think. Um, starting with uh, starting with these turrets right here. I, I think last time in the battle, especially against the drone, these two weren't performing as expected. Uh, no, so I, I just think didn't you had feel idea. like the the Gatling didn't have enough DPS. Yeah. So what are you thinking for that? Well, we could just build a lot more of them because that's you know quantity or quality. Things. Or we can get rid of it, and we can replace it with another, a better turret, and go quality over quantity. So which would you like? Mm. Would you like quality or quantity? As cool as quantity sounds, I have always heard that quality is better than quantity. Maybe we go with the quality approach. So something we can do is we can make a completely custom ball turret using a couple hinge and uh, rotor tricks to get a absolute ton of uh, uh, small grid weapons and then make a custom turret. That sounds very interesting, very enticing. I think we've got to do that. All right, so we're going to make some custom ball turrets for these uh, positions. Uh, it'll be a little tricky on the under underside, but we'll get it figured out. Oh, yeah. But... Hey, at least the at least the top ones are the most important because if we stay low to the ground, the AI drones will always come from above us. That's true. Yeah. And even if we just get the top ones absolutely rocking, the the bottom ones will just be a, a benefit. Okay. And then we've got we do have the ability. We have enough superconductors that we oh, can build yes. a railgun on this thing. Uh, it needs 150 and I believe if we go and check our superconductors we have 180. So we can build one large grid railgun if we wanted to. Uh, okay. We could build a, f a fair number of small grid. Uh, we have They take 20 each. Uh now, now so you bring can, up an interesting point there. We can build like eight of them, I think. Now I'm starting to wonder what happens if we build a custom turret with little rail guns. Uh, would that yeah, be, they. That, that'd be too much, right? Would it be? Would it be though? Would it be though? Would it be That's too much to have a custom railgun turret? Let's let's build it, see what it looks like, <laughs> and then decide. I how mean. About it, that? Heck, you could even take your little thing here and change it from auto cannons to railgun. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, we could. That wouldn't be too difficult. It would just... In fact, railguns don't... No, they do need the uh, connection, don't they? Yes, they, they do. They need power and they need the sabos. But okay. we could... We could pretty quickly uh, have your little thing be a railgun, little turret. And then I can set up some Gatling or Autocannon custom ball turrets. And then this thing would be ready to head into its final battle against uh, the G Corp headquarters 10 kilometers away. I think that's a really good idea. Upgrades all around, and then we battle it out with uh, with good old G Corp. Which is, all right. Uh, over there. So I am going to get onto those uh, turrets. Gatling or Autocannon turrets. Oh, good question. Um, I think we have to go auto cannon. Okay, then I'll break down more Gatling ammo than I was good at planning on, just so we have a bunch of uh, 
magnesium, and then we can make a bunch of uh, auto cannon. Okay. We have, we're not really going to need any more Gadling if we go auto cannon on the uh, on those turrets there. Uh, yes, we might just not need Gatling at all. Yeah, some of the little uh, rovers still use it, but I think um, they may have been superseded by new things. Mm -hmm. So do you know how to uh, build these uh, custom ball turrets? Uh, do I? Um, would, would you like to do a, a demonstration? I've never built one myself. Mm-hmm. Well, I can definitely do such a thing. Um, okay. So you can see here what I've done is in... If, I'm going to bring my spectator camera over so I can show this off a little bit better. Okay. You might uh, need an but advanced rotor as well. Inside of here, down to where there's a conveyor, I put an advanced rotor. And on top of that advanced rotor, there is a hinge. Uh, this should be an advanced rotor, is it not? Uh, uh, I see the little connection. No, it might just be a regular rotor, so my mistake. We need an advanced rotor. There we go. And slap it in there. Because we need the conveyor ports. We need these guns to be fed. Then yes, you slap definitely. down a large hinge. And you take out the little bit in the middle. Because we don't need that. So you do know about how you can attach a rotor, like a hinge head, back into the hinge, right? Yes. So what you can actually do is there's that little hinge from the small grid, like the hinge part from the small grid rotors. Okay. And uh, Like hinges. You can actually make that work in here. And it's ridiculous. Um, you can attach these without them being connected, right? Or without them being built up, right? Like, if I spam attach and you just toss one above it, will it grab it <laughs> as it falls through? Probably. Oh, this. Oh, no. <laughs> this is... Okay, this is not the play. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was funny. Oh shoot, now we have I think one fell into the into the crack. Boom! Worked. Okay worked? Alright, I've got to come see this. Yeah, yeah, I just had to remind myself of, you don't need a landing gear shenanigans. You place another rotor behind it, you put a small head, head on it, and then you go over, and then it's perfectly aligned. Ah, so that's now attached. So now that oh is attached gosh. and floating in the middle there, and because this is an advanced rotor, and that's piped, you can access cargo from this thing. Even though it's got no physical connections. Oh my gosh, okay. So what we can do now, uh, and I believe I have the resources on me to at least lay this out, is we can put a conveyor, like a small conveyor on here. And then we can then go and put uh, however, whatever guns we want. So we could just go like, hey, auto cannons. Uh, there you go. There's, oh my uh, gosh. You're gonna go there's, with four auto there's quad cannons. auto cannons there. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is this looks cooler and is so much simpler than any custom turret I've tried to make. This is awesome. And the good part about it is, is that uh, we can then have the automatic like custom turret controller and put a camera in the middle of this thing, and it'll just so fire it off just four. Like a turret four autocans instead of uh, one Gatling gun. That's amazing. So we're going to replace all of our Gatling things with this. Or, yep. you know, something similar. Wow. Okay, this is... I guess this is my creation, but this is your brainchild adding these railguns to this, and it is a monstrosity. Well, as it should be. You can go take a look whenever you uh, whenever you wish. 
Uh, sure. I will be there in just a moment. I was just in the... I was in the process of naming things, and my brain was, uh, stuck. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yes. Quad yes. little railgun man turret. <laughs> yeah, what does this even look like from the cockpit now? Ah! Oh, that's crazy. Hop in there for a second. Oh, my God. <laughs> you are going to be able to punch some holes with that thing. I think I'm going to set them up to shoot individually. So I can just press a button and shoot one at a time. Because I think four shooting at once might be a little... You know, we're going to get rid of all of our power on the ship. Mm -hmm. uh, how armored do you want these to be? Just small uh, amount or good amount of least, armor? At least, like, some. Uh, let me see what it is. Because uh, I could just do something like this. At least a heavy armor in between the exposed oh. parts. Mm. Well, I don't know if we have enough grids for that. Well, I just removed a couple of heavy armors from my uh, thing because I had a little bit on here. Okay, let's see. We've got 65 grids. Okay, that's enough for me to... Uh, oh, I've got a few grids as well. 72 grids. Yeah. That's enough to do some heavy armor in those, in just those little sections. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and I could use one of the new top-mounted cameras. That would look cool. Ooh, yeah. If, uh, uh, if it, I gotta if it first slap anywhere. down a normal camera and figure out which orientation this gun is in. Um, I like the armor you're doing here. Need a custom turret controller. So I think back here by... Staircases, I think? We'll put them in. Now, we want to save this space in case we want to get the rover in here. I'll put them beside the H2O2s. Okay. Alright, custom turret controller. It's going to be dorsal left. Elevation is hinge. Dorsal left. Assign camera. And... Uh, the auto cannon's dorsal left. Uh, 800 meters, enable AI, control. Ooh. Come take a peek. All right, I'm on my way. Let's see. Oh, this looks so cool. And if you, can you aim like, ah! <laughs> Whoa, okay. Nice, eh? Can you aim, like, straight up? Oh, whoa, not there. Don't aim at me. Oh, that's so awesome! <laughs> it looks so good. Uh, the back, maybe, right here, could use, like, some rounding, possibly, but... Uh, yeah, I need to do that. So I'm gonna set it to only fire on small grid. So target small ships, not gonna target large ships. It's not gonna target stations. It's gonna shoot at weapons. And it's got an 800 meter range. Uh, there we go. Uh, first custom turret is complete. Perfect. Well done. Okay, I'm gonna have to come back to this uh, this ball turret one day and do like a like try and find a way to make it look better. I realized I asked for comments on how to uh, make it look better last episode, and then like we haven't released that episode yet. <laughs> So awkward. <laughs> Guys, I know your comments were amazing and I, they're they're awesome. Thank you for all the comments. I just haven't seen them yet. <laughs> Alright, I'm test firing a single railgun off at the uh, mountain. Ooh. It does indeed fire. Nice. Should I, I I should probably test all four. Right? Yeah, but only do that while I'm watching. Here, let me bring my spectator camera over. Okay. Okay. Do you have a target? Uh, we we'll just shoot off into the distance there. All right, here we go. I'm gonna shoot them in quick succession here. Three real guns. Fire! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> All rail guns working. Awesome. Oh, 
God, that's beautiful. <laughs> These things look so good. Another thing we can do if we wanted to improve the durability of these turrets is we can bury a welder beside them. That's not a bad idea. Turret active. Test firing. Oh, okay. The two dorsal turrets are active. Now uh, working on the ventral turrets. All right. Okay, this turret is done. So if I correct my angle here, I am on ventral right. Okay. Uh, testing ventral. All right. So you can see the two different uh, armor designs on the lower ball turret and the upper ball turret here. If you want to come take a look. Uh, yeah. Okay, so the upper one has the classic design we're all used to. And the well, bottom yeah, one... the upper one has the... Oh, what happened? Oh, <laughs> something have, exploded inside. The, uh... Oh, really? Yeah, look. Hmm. How? That hasn't happened on the other sides, right? No, other sides are fine. No, I think something exploded when I did a fire test. Uh, would you be so kind to go grab the uh, flyer and bring it back oh, over yeah, here? Sure. Would you be so kind to grab that thing? Yep. And then lift up. And then just okay. hover out there for a moment while I fix this. Space engineers construction. And then I'll get a another rotor down there. Got it. Okay. Alright, and if you would uh, lower down a little bit. And a little bit forward. The tiniest forward amount. Up. And then... Uh, you can release. Um, let's see. Landing gears. Oh. And I sh should be able to... Attach. And we're good. Oh, perfect. Okay. Prepared. And I can tell this to auto land. Uh, yeah, that should work. All right, awesome. <laughs> the ship's just going off. It's like, yes, boss. Yep, it's gonna drive away. Okay, so I don't know what happened there. Um, something screwed up. Okay, yeah, so that's working properly. See if this is gonna cause any damage when I fire this. Good call. It shouldn't cause any damage. No. Okay, that's fine. Ah. What seems to be the problem? Something about this turret's positioning is causing damage when it's aiming too high. Oh. So if it aims directly straight on, it causes damage? Yeah, it just caused damage there when I fired. How is that even... What? I... I have no idea. Huh. What? If... What, one of the autocannons is, like, aiming... It's like shooting 90 degrees. It's like shooting straight up. You can actually see it shooting that way? I can see the shell. Oh my gosh, you're right. What the heck? Why? Is it, uh, is it some weird glitch in the calculation since it's subgraded so much? You're absolutely right. I see it flying off into the sky. I have no idea why this is not doing it. I'm going to shoot the... That's auto cannon 10. Auto cannon seven. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're all just shooting. That. They're just shooting straight up. <laughs> Energy low. What the oh, hell is I, going I, on? I think this, this is just a glitch. I don't know what's going on with it. But are these auto cannons firing the correct way? Uh, let me jump into that cannon here. 
We'll see which way the tracer goes. No, they're not! They're firing straight up! <laughs> Why? Here, let me replace one of these gat one of these auto cannons here with a gat and see what which way the gat shoots. Okay. Cause if well, I can get, say, like warfare gatlings in here, they'll look cool. They'll look cool, and, yeah, but I, I have let a me go... suspicion they're also gonna fire. Weirdly. Well who knows? It could be an auto cannon issue. Let's see. So let me get those auto cannons off and I'll put that warfare gatling on and I'm gonna take control of the turret again. Oh no, oh, you're right, it's straight. firing it's firing straight. So, so I the guess autos are just having trouble. So for some reason the auto cannons are being weird. Yeah. So I guess I'll just replace them with Gatlings. Test. Yeah, there we go. That's working. Although that is a pretty good volume of fire if you want to take a look at that. Uh, yeah, let, let me uh, come back out of my little hole over here. Okay, let's see. Whoa! That's insane! And the tracers look awesome! That's better than a single Gatling turret, hey? Yeah, I'd say. <laughs> so cool. So, I guess my desire to replace all of our Gat with autocannon magazines was premature. It's okay, it's not your fault. It's okay, we'll keep some of the autocannon, but I'll, I'll disassemble it, reassemble the Gatling. Because we're gonna need more gat. Okay. Yeah. I'll swap them all. I'll swap the ones here over to Gatling real quick. Oh no! Some of the ammo fell into a crack. <laughs> I'll have to use the. Uh... Oh. Oh, oh no, all on. the guns came off and the entire sheath of armor came off too. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Left side is fixed. Or at least the... Yeah, the top one on the left is fixed. Top one on the right is fixed. Bottom one on the right is next in the line. Well, at least we figured that out before we let the AI take control of those turrets and proceed to absolutely oh destroy our things. Yeah, that could have been a nightmare. <laughs> Can you imagine if we went into the combat situation and then all of a sudden are just both sides of our gun, like our wings, just disintegrated <laughs> from the turrets, shooting themselves to smithereens? Yeah, that would have been horrible. <clears throat> Let's see where I can bury a welder here. If I can. I think I might be able to do it here. Although I'm not sure if I can do it on the bottom turret as well. I think just the top turrets are going to have welders. Just because of That's the space. Fair. Those, yeah, I think those are going to be the ones that need it the most anyway. Actually, no, I think I can do this. Maybe I can go through oh. here. All right. Ooh, yeah, I can do it right here. Yeah, I can get a bottom welder too. Yep, got it. Got a nice space for it. Alright, let's come see your thing. Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, you can sit inside it. <laughs> That's the gap. <laughs> uh, what do um, I do? Um, so first control it so that you can aim. Uh, press four? Yeah, four. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> there goes our front. <laughs> okay, now I'm not the only one who's firing as soon as they get in something. <laughs> okay, um, aim up a little bit. All right, now press uh, two. It's gonna start going down <laughs> with you inside it. 
Okay. Now you have to keep yourself aiming forward because it's not going to aim forward for you. But there you go. Now you're fully deployed and you can kind of look around and, and oh. shoot stuff. Okay. okay. Well, I'm going to leave that. Shoot. I'm going to leave that to you. I feel like I've set up. <laughs> okay. Look, look at look at the deploy or look at the undeploy here. It's going to look pretty awesome. It's going to open. Look at that. And then. Without touching a button, here I come. <laughs> I can't believe you shot off the front of our ship. I just pressed four. I wasn't even touching my mouse. No, that was hilarious, though. That's what happened to me uh, with all the, the turrets and stuff. And last episode, when I just randomly started firing after getting in that thing. You may want to have a um, group that you set up where you can turn your rail guns on and off. Oh, so there's, turn they're, them. They're, they're off, and then you deploy, and then you turn your rail guns on. That's a good idea. Huh? If, oh, sorry. Health is low. <laughs> sorry. Oh, I have 23 health left. There we go. I'm going to shoot out, uh, I guess, over top of the base, because that's the only angle I have from here. Okay. You are clear to fire, and I'm clear to view. Oh, it looks so cool. Okay, all four turrets are activated. Ready to rock. Nice. Awesome. And this thing's almost ready to rock, too. I'm just repairing the, uh, the front here, and then we'll be good. All right, I think we have a ship fully capable of destruction. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's check our hydrogen situation here. It's hydrogen right, tanks base? are... The base is empty. Yeah, the base is empty. The It's hydrogen tanks are probably like 40% if you balance them all out. Okay. Uh, so we could just go and do some more ice mining overnight and then in the morning uh, head off and take care of g -Corp. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, what? The ship? <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. Do you want to do the fight and come back and load up? Or load up now and then go do the fight with everything and then just after we've beaten them, just fly away? Oh, it would probably make more cinematic sense if we didn't come back. Yeah. So I'm just thinking we could grind this battery down, for example, and then we could get the... Um, the we could... I think we can pick up the bus with the flyer we could put the bus in here yep we could maybe take the flyer as well if we take off the ice grinding thing well I mean or maybe we don't need to take the flyer just take the bus let's let's see would you mind jumping in the bus and pulling it forward nicely done oh we've damaged something on the ship somehow yeah, just one of the uh, auto cannons. That's yeah, not too. It's, it's okay. It's replaceable. Yep. You can drop it. It'll be fine. Nice. And now you get a sense of scale for how big this thing is. We could we could actually put more in it if we wanted to. Yeah, let me land here, and then we can uh, repair that auto cannon turret and tuck the bus in. So we might have to realign. Oh yeah, perfect. Uh, I can even come forward another block or two here. Yeah, let's let's bring it forward a little bit, and that's about as much as you can do. Okay, so I think definitely what we want to do is do piston on mag plates and then mag plate everything down. Yes, definitely. Because there's no way I'm blasting to orbit with this thing loose. It'd fly when around. I blast to orbit, <laughs> I'm going to tilt, I'm going to aim upwards, and this thing will just fall backwards, and it'll just explode. Yeah, definitely. All right, shall we load some more? Want to take out the rest of our rovers? We can maybe, yeah, we can maybe take all of them. Well, not the tank, maybe. That might be a little large. 
but definitely these small ones that we built early on. Yeah, the ones we built. Alright, I disconnected and an explosion occurred. It's alright, while well, you're disconnected, you can repair it while it's in the ship. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you can release and it will, will land. Perfect. Let's see. Tuck it into the left or the right there. Whichever one you want. Yeah. I think the left is best because... Oh! Because the turning radius is not amazing on this thing. Please. Don't run into the bus. <laughs> this thing has a stuck accelerator sometimes. Sure it does. It does! <laughs> if you drove it more, you'd, you'd, you'd see. That's how I drove directly into that wall last time. Uh, you're good to drop that one as well. And I'm going to just turn off the, uh, the grids. Like power down the bus and such. So it's not oh, using, yeah, its, good idea. Uh, using its battery. Yep. Oh, you set up uh, control points for all of the uh, turrets on the fight seat here. Nice. Oh, yeah. Yep, I haven't tested them, but uh, it should work. Uh, well, while we could stick around and get a little bit more hydrogen, I, considering the fact that when we did that attack on the uh, the air base, what did we use in the end? Like 10%? Uh, yeah, it was like nothing. Uh, we could also, we do have H2O2 on this grid. We've got these uh, four of them over here. So we could transfer that big block of ice over to this Let's grid. Let's do that, yeah. So worst case scenario, we just park for a second, build up a little bit of ice. We yeah. probably won't even need to, though. Yeah, I think major worst case scenario is we get to orbit and we just have to sit in orbit for a while. Yeah. But we managed to get, we got the bus snugged in there. You got our two combat rovers and we've got the flyer all inside the cargo bay. We've got every last piece of goody from that entire base. All of the tools and bottles and oars and everything all into the ship. We are ready to leave. Yep, we've got everything we could possibly need. Expertly mm -hmm. done, by the way, this this uh, this packing job. Oh, I couldn't have done it without your help. You were wonderful. Yes. Um, and now it's time to take them all into combat. <laughs> uh, and the little ball turret at the bottom is ready. All right. Uh, we're just gonna fight in this thing, right? We're not gonna take the flyer out. Yeah, I think we're just gonna we're just gonna sit in this thing. Um, we've got plenty of weapons to choose from if we need to. A little bit of action. All right, closing um, the hangar doors. Okay. Oh, that's there beautiful. they go. Disconnecting. Three. All right. Two. One. We are disconnected. We can fly even with all of our stuff and all of our rovers in. All right. Next stop, G Corp oh, we're, headquarters. We're, we're listing left. Holy shit. Listing left. Listing hard. Uh. Oh yeah, we yeah, are. Yeah, bit. We do have aerodynamics. Do we need like a a wing? It's okay. I can fight it. Okay. What happens if you slow down? Does it does the list get less uh, pronounced? No, it's just a constant roll to the left. Hmm. Let me make sure none of the here. Uh... Let me roll to the right a little bit. Okay. Okay. Could it be because of any of these, um... I'm just going to take one of the gyros and override it. Oh, okay. And that'll probably... Yeah, that's better. It's holding me steady a bit. Okay, we're good. Okay. Let's go get this done. Let's give these G-Corp folks what they deserve. Four kilometers out. And we are deployed. 
Okay, yep, I see one of those grids uh, already here. Yeah, so, so do I. I'm gonna go ahead and lock it. It's not really moving. What's that? Oh, we have a convoy escort. Okay, I think we're fine not attacking those. Slowing down. Is that hostile? Yeah, I see it's hostile. I got a lock on it. Firing artillery. Okay. Oh, the convoy escort. Oh, no, I see where you're attacking, actually. Uh, yeah, let me try oh, and hit with one of these. That was a direct miss. The assault cannons are opening up on it. Okay. I don't know if I'm hitting it. Well, you can always put All a camera on your thing to be able to zoom in. Uh, yeah, actually, I should do that. Uh, please don't move anywhere or I'll, <laughs> I'll get left okay. behind. <laughs> I'm holding on the station. The guns have stopped, so I'm, I have reason to believe that the, uh, turret is damaged. Okay. Okay, I've stuck a, uh, a camera on this. That was a good call. Boom! Decapitated. Moving nice forward. Done. Five. All right, I've got a camera here. Yep, I can. I can see it also as very decapitated. Okay, we've got uh, some sort of. Uh, well, we've got the the tanks twin here, in white, right below us. Oh, they're targeting it. All right, we're within two kilometers of the enemy base. Okay, are we in... I guess this white grid's not attacking us, so maybe we don't need to attack it. Yeah, I've set all the turrets to attack only weapons. So, if they're not attacking, it means we're good. We're not, uh... We don't have any issues. Okay. Do you know what the, uh, what the range is for this railgun, for chance? Uh, it should say... I think it's, like, two kilometers? Kilometers? Okay, I'll, yeah, I'll fire one shot here at the uh, G Corp. Yeah, that hit! <laughs> nice! Right, here's another. Oh, wait, you're exploding short. Exploding? Oh, it's exploding short? Okay, it's not hitting? Uh, maybe the two kilometers was for large grid. Uh, yeah, 1400 maybe. for small grid. 1400 for um, small grid, okay. I'll move you into range. There's one. I think this is a hit. Okay, we're getting a little closer. These these railguns are so cool. This thing's a little hard to aim, but... G Corp, facility threat. Oh. Dispatching additional drones. Alright. Here's what we're going to see if our uh, anti-air defense is worth it. Okay, do you, do you uh, see the drones anywhere? Yep, they're coming in top right. Top right? Okay. Three o'clock high. Identified. All units converge. Three o'clock high. They're coming in. See how our turrets take them on. You should be engaging in th three, two, one. Gatling's engaging. Oh yeah, they are. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's parts raining from the sky. Oh my lord. <laughs> Drone disarmed and returning for repairs. That's better. Okay. Wow, yeah, that worked. I was a bit afraid it would fall on us. All right, artillery is firing again. I'm gonna get back in the ball turret. Here we go. <laughs> Do you see there's a uh, what is it 
uh, missile? missile turret on the roof. Yeah, I, I was previously unable to hit that because it's a little high for me, but now I, I think I can. Okay, I'm I am nice settling in. I'm not going to move. Okay. That might be a direct... Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> uh, we've got a couple turrets on the side still. I'll see if I can hit them. That's another one gone. And another yeah, one you on pick the side. Yeah, you pick those turrets off. Okay. Reloading. There's another one. Uh... There's another one. This thing, once you get the hang of it, this thing will uh, take him out. I think there's still some tur. There's a. Oh yeah, I think you picked that, that one off. Gone. There's another tur. There's another Gatling on the f uh, the face. Yeah. Face All right, I'm gonna gone. swing. I'm gonna swing you around the uh, side. Thirty-five percent hydrogen. Okay, and we started with what? Forty. Uh, fifty. Forty. We started with fifty. Okay. So we are losing it so at a higher rate. Once we get to 20%, no matter what happened, I'm burning for orbit. Okay. Well, let's get a little closer to the G Corp headquarters. Uh, you should be able to pick the side of there now. Uh, let's, let me see. Oh, I yeah, will okay. stop moving. Yep. And then... There's that guy done. Trying to hit the guy that's a little bit low here. Uh, whatever that little thing was, I got it. Okay. Another one There's here still on one the, on the uh... side there. Yep, I'm letting my rail guns recharge here. Took a hot shot at him. Oh, okay. nice. I think... Uh, oh, one, that's... One, uh, one on our side here. Where? Yeah, I don't see miss. it. Oh, a little interior turret. Yeah, yeah. Having trouble hitting this guy. Well, if you want, we could land and we could go in on foot and clear some of these things. Yeah, let's do that. And if, if something attacks us, we have plenty of turrets to uh, hit it. Then we don't have to worry about... In fact, our thing will even charge up with uh, ice because we brought ice with us. Yep. Alright, the artillery are still shooting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that well, is we'll awesome. Let we'll let them have their fun. Uh, Alright, I've got some men. Uh, we should be good to leave this thing. Uh, okay. I guess we'll I watch think. from a distance as it tries to take on those drones. Oh my gosh. Getting a couple hits on- Oh, watch out for falling debris! That thing gets shredded! Oh, it's going straight down. Straight into the ground. There it goes. <laughs> nice job. Oh, oh cause God, it's got a- <laughs> It's got a turret on its- here. It's, it's got a turret on its top, so the turrets will shred through it to get to it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Check out my souvenir. Uh, where are you? Uh, oh, you're down right there? side of the ship. Yeah, I got a souvenir. Nice. <laughs> okay, uh, that's, it looked like that was like safe, like every few minutes they sent in a thing, so let's get in there and let's get rid of the, uh, spawner. Okay. We gotta be a little careful, uh, but I think we killed everything at least on this side. Yeah, I think this side we are clear. So I flew right in, no issues. Alright, I'm in with you here. There's so a sensor the in the Corp roof. HQ. Okay, we've also got uh, turrets inside these rooms here. Yeah, I see. Welcome to uh, oh. All visitors please report. Welcome oh, we're, to yeah, we're just visitors. All visitors please. Shut up. Angry visitors. Okay, I'm taking out this piece of wall here, so I can peek this turret. Oh, well, maybe it's not hostile. I guess we, we take no, uh... Oh, it aimed at me! <laughs> okay, G Corp. Uh, clear. Clear of turrets. 
and uh, moving up. The oh. hell is this? An elevator? Oh, this is neat. Oh. Ah, oh, this is what they intended us to perhaps escape with. Maybe, yeah. It's looking a little bit uh, worse for wear. Yeah, we kind of might have shot it a few times. Uh, yeah. <laughs> checking for turrets. Robots are very good at penetrating. Clearing. Armor. Uh, don't see anything. Not getting shot yeah, at. I don't see any either. Can you hop in. I guess we can hop in through the armor. Up. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> yeah, this thing is um, nobody, so you could we could take it. Uh, take it doesn't this. have anything in it except some uranium. Cargo containers are all empty. Okay. Ah, that's the entrance. Med bay engineering. Is this the... These? Oh, a gravity generator. That's cool. Yeah. Safety notice. Maybe actually had G Corp. Oh, ah. man. There's a hole in the wall here. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> it's a pretty substantial hole. Yeah. But the downwards thrusters are... I mean... It's still got thrust. It lacks it in, like, one or two directions, but... Theoretically, this yeah. thing could still blast off. It could. And I this... have half a mind to take our other thing, though, instead. Just because it's got the same capability, but even more. Mm-hmm. This ceiling looks like it uh, opens up. I think we damaged okay. the uh, retraction mechanism. I don't think these doors can retract now. Yeah, one side has a, a rotor, and one side it, the rotor is missing. Facility oh, scanners. Okay. Have picked up a hostile. Dispatch okay, nearby patrols to location. So this is what we were supposed to escape with if we wanted to go this route. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna head back down the elevator here, and I'm gonna see if I can find the uh, um, the control thing that's causing the drones to spawn. All drones attack. Oh right, yeah. Now he's coming to us, which will be interesting. Shipment never arrived. Computers from mainframe. Scanning for unregistered <laughs> life forms. Terminate non G Corp personnel in sector 10. That's not I our hear, ship. I hear sounds outside. Mm hmm. Additional combat drones to Mars HQ and Mars outposts. <laughs> Suspicious activity detector in sector 15. Increased transport escorts. Yeah, they really should from do that one. What, what are they shooting at? I don't know. Does it really matter? <laughs> I guess not. Uh oh. Yeah, just go through ah! the wall. <laughs> I got shot. <laughs> what? I uh, I may have gone outside temporarily. Why'd you do that? Well, I, I went outside to peek, and then I was going back inside, and, and uh, I I lost where the hole was that I used. Uh, I got trapped under the ice, basically. I think that thing's just shooting up the base. Uh, I guess the uh, we just need to get out of here now. Pretty much, yeah. Um, Alright, I'm going to make the run back to the ship. Okay, I'm doing the opposite Go. run to get my, uh, to get my goodies. Oh. <laughs> All right, I am lifting off. Okay. That looks so cool. I'm awaiting liberation. Hey! Gat, yeah, you're shooting through one of my thrusters. <laughs> Gat, forward! Shoot forward, Gat! What is it shooting at over there? I don't know, something else. Turn around! Shoot that thing! Okay, they're shooting at it. Ah! 
shot me again. <laughs> I was sneaking a peek. Alright. Uh, did you want to get your body, or...? Uh, yeah, I'd love to, but it, it's, it's very intent on killing me. That's okay, it's trying to kill me now. Yeah. But the gat should, uh, have a dead here in a moment. Yep, they're doing some damage. I can see hits. Oh, we have a hole in the uh, bridge here. See Be it? Careful. And I think the thing's uh, shut down. and returning for repair. <laughs> it's just raining on us. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm gonna step over here to get my body. Yeah, we're taking some damage to some thrusters. All right, I'm back. I think with G Corp destroyed, I think we're good for a blast off. Blasting to orbit. Blasting to orbit. It's time to escape Mars. The thing we could have done two episodes ago, but. We needed to we take had... our base with us. We needed to get all our rovers loaded. Yeah, we did, and we had business to complete. Oh, could you close the hangar door, please? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, let's let's uh let's close that one. Just maybe. We've also got that, uh... What place is it? Communication satellite. That's where we're going. Oh, yeah, okay. Hangar door 49 closing. kilometers straight up. We don't need to fight against the atmosphere anymore uh, up here, so... We get to go much faster. Oh, sweet. Alright, I'm gonna fire some spiteful shots at G-Corp from orbit. <laughs> That's not what I was meant to do. Oops. Oh shoot, what did I do? Oh, I messed up. Uh, is this gonna cause problems? Yes. Yes, it will. Nope, okay, it's fine. Oh god, no, it's not fine. You're listing the ship a whole bunch. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I'm sorry. I pressed, uh, I pressed the deploy button while I was already deployed, and apparently that causes major problems. Yes. Oh, I'm seeing, a, I'm seeing an enemy grid. I'm seeing an enemy grid ahead of us. Enemy grid? Okay, I'm gonna real quick hop into my, uh, my little... Oh, I'm stopping, I'm stopping, I'm stopping. Oh, yep. turrets are firing? Or something's firing. Yep. All right, I'm deploying this. Yeah, well, I was not expecting to be attacked by enemies here. Neither was I. We're stopped. They're not shooting anymore. I'm looking through the thing. I'm looking at it through one of the turrets, and I don't oh, see yeah. any tur like weaponry on it. Okay, I don't have a shot on it from here because I'm angled a little bit uh, down. Here, I'll pull up. Okay, I have a shot now. Uh, How does it look? So what did you say? Well, I don't see any turrets. Did you say you saw any? Uh, no, I don't see any weaponry on it. Yeah, I don't see any. You can turn weapons off and approach? Or well, do you want to just stay here and approach? I'm fly up with my suit. Alright, I'll fly over with you as well. Okay, I'm starting the... Uh, the Organics flight. not welcome. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Transmitting data on all frequencies. Transmitting on all frequencies. There is no way the corporation can stop evidence of their illegal weapon stockpiling spreading throughout the galaxy. Well done. Yeah! We did it! We've escaped from Mars and made it to I guess there was a satellite. There was some scrap floating right where I am here. So my guess is that there was a turret or something on this little interior pillars. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we got some cool music, hopefully copyright free. Yeah, hopefully. Otherwise you'll be hearing from my lawyer. And we did it! Yeah, we've escaped Mars! Excellent! Well done. Uh, Searching data files. Oh. 
Oxygen farm technology unlocked. Ooh. Okay, we unlocked oxygen. All technologies unlocked. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Everything. Yeah, so now we can play as normal. Yeah. Well done. Um. So yeah, that that, that was that was pretty cool. And that was a escape from Mars. Shall we uh, get on out of here? Let's get on out of here and uh, Let's fly off towards the sun. We managed to get this in giant ship functioning, along with all of these rovers and this flyer, which we have stuffed into the cargo container, into like into the hangar bay here, and. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was impressive how we did. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We're good. We've you done didn't it. See what just happened? Uh, what I, happened? I turned on my jetpack and immediately <laughs> got pancaked into one of the ships. <laughs> well, it was an absolute pleasure doing this scenario with you, and uh, let's try to do something again in the future. Yes, this was very fun. Thank you so much, and uh, thanks everybody for watching as well. For coming yes, along thank with us you on this so journey. much for watching and uh, have a wonderful day wherever you are for now see you guys later hello and welcome to another episode of space engineers and today we're starting a new series we're doing escape from mars we have andrew man gaming oh Run, 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 run! Run in a circle! 50 meters in the air, and I just went kerplunk. Oh, right, right, no gyro! Oh! Oh, I just died. Oh! Oh, I'm Back up! I'll try now. Alright, we're gonna. Oh, I missed two! I missed two! Ah! It's moving around. Oh, there it goes. Oh! Morning, Andrew. Did you have a nice sleep? Yep, dead. Uh, new base of oh! Oh! There's a turret right there! <sighs> it's a good morning. The base is very loud. But we're missing somebody. Where is Kenajashi? I mean, that's as many computers as you could get. Ah! Bonk. Bonk. Oh! oh. Storage capacity, though. Oh! No! Hello, and welcome to another episode of Escape from Mars. Oh, it's gonna slam into it. <laughs> <laughs> into it. Oh! Hello and welcome to another episode of Escape from Mars. Yeah, it's gonna be a problem trying to get out of this canyon. <laughs> uh, do you want to like um, go into a hole? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Ooh, I'm not sure if we have that many souls. Oh! <laughs> so I think we're probably safe here. So, I think we're probably safe here. Ah! Ah! Let me out! <laughs> <laughs> I'm opening fire on the little base down there. Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa! Oh! <laughs> there goes our front! Hey! Yeah, you're shooting through one of my thrusters! Nope, okay, it's fine. Whoa, god, no, it's not fine! You're listing the ship a whole bunch. <laughs> Wait, what? 